So we're jumping in, building that Tactica checklist to ask the question, dealing with light mechs in Battletech. And before we jump into that, I've pushed up to the channel here under the Battletech playlist, various light mech reviews and in-depth Tactica in dealing with light mechs. Because on the surface, and we're just going to kind of lay that foundation for a minute before we jump in to the actual Tactica checklist for the new Battletech players and my fellow mech warriors, on the surface, light mechs, you look at the tech readout, not a ton of weapons, hardly any armor. What's the big deal? One or two good hits and the machine is just going to disintegrate. Easier said than done. And certain attributes of light mechs, when used correctly, make them tremendously tremendously effective. Likewise, with light mechs, there's really not a lot of room to make a mistake because you don't have the tonnage, the raw tonnage for the armor. You take one or two PPC hits or you take a cluster of missiles, you're in trouble. But generally speaking, what makes light mechs so dangerous is low battle value buy-in. And, and this is about 90% of the mechs that fit that tactica checklist. There's always some light mechs that kind of fall outside of that for various special reasons, but low battle, vo low battle value buy-in, a little bit of a tongue twister there, which is going to give you a mech on the table. It's going to affect initiative. For the most part, tremendous speed and or maneuverability, speed with jump jets, speed without jump jets. And in certain configurations, uh, certainly not a ton of weapons, but enough weapons that if it can get rear armor or if it can get behind your lines and outflank, or if it can engage support vehicles, all of a sudden, light mechs are a major problem. And working with a lance, light mechs are there to exploit any weaknesses. So we definitely want to deal with them. Now, if we distill down keeping light mechs alive and functional, and it is more complex than this, of course, and again, that tactica has been pushed up to the playlist here, but essentially what protects light mechs is their mobility to stay out of firing arcs, to stay at range, to stack the modifiers. Easier said than done taking out a well-played light mech because it's not going to sit there and, and let you effectively shoot it. So your choice, of course, then is to chase this light mech around. And then you ask yourself, well, what's the battle value of the light mech? And what's the battle value of the stuff that I'm sending off to chase it down? And then second, you're asking the question, if I'm going to blast it with a lot of stuff, I'll blast a light mech with a whole lance. If it's at range and it's moving and maybe it has some cover, am I going to be able to hit it? And if I haven't hit it, if I'm not able to hit it, what is that? One or two turns of fire from an entire lance that I've wasted that could have been going into another approaching lance or another target? So this idea of burning shots, of burning weapons incoming, that's what makes light mechs um, challenging to potentially put down. So let's look at some ideas to hunt a light mech. The optimal idea. First is battle value. I want to keep the battle value low because I don't want to send out tons and tons of battle value. Yeah, I'll destroy your light mech. I'll send three lances against it. I mean, I want to keep that battle value low. We want to keep that battle value low. So the question here is battle value and speed. Other light mechs can effectively chase down light mechs. Uh, the answer to most everything for inner sphere, early to mid tech, is the Jenner. It's got the speed. It's got the firepower. Battle value is acceptable. Send a Jenner to chase down that light mech. Send your light mech to chase down or drive off another light mech. But other options, um, if we're looking at combined arms, things that are deadly, Total Warfare, deadly to light mechs. VTOLs, a um, little bit heavier than the Warrior. Some of those attack helicopters that have massive, massive speed and movement and pack missiles and lasers, low battle value buy-in, and hover vehicles. Now, hover vehicles are interesting um, in Battletech, kind of like, I guess in the 80s, everyone envisioned future warfare to be hover tech, or, or maybe it's something unique in battle tech, because outside of battle tech, when do you really see hover tech? Ogre? That's, that's really kind of the only place um, they appear, and that was kind of the similar 80s thinking. But hover vehicles, if you look at the buy-in, the battle value's pretty low. You've got speed, 
Um, you have the vehicle rules mounting a wide variety of weapons on there. You can get some of the, I won't say scout hovers, but light hover attack craft to medium for the same battle value or less than a light mech. They'll have medium lasers, SRM six packs or four packs. The speed to make it up there to catch that light mech, the maneuverability to catch that light mech, lower battle value buy-in, better weapons, they're deadly to light mechs. And as a screening force or an engaging force, um, as much as I love attack helicopters, skimmers, hovers, that's where it's at because that's going to chase them down. That's going to chase them away. And there's also the tactical flexibility in taking one of these units where you can use it outside of hunting light mechs if the mission arises. When I build my lances, I'm trying to I'm trying to have multiple answers for multiple things. Um, Yes, I want to have a a question as we go down the Tactica checklist and say, what's my plan for light mechs? I don't know what my opponent's bringing. Um, I don't necessarily know the mission. I don't necessarily know what hex map we're going to play on. Usually we mix all the hex maps up under the table and, and just draw one out. So not knowing that, I need to have an answer to engage, drive off, destroy light mechs. But what if there are no light mechs? Or what if my opponent only takes one or two and the rest is focused on heavier? What if there are other options? So I like, you know, the general take care of most of that, but I like hovercraft because they can engage light mechs. um, They can scout, they can engage back deployment zone stuff, LRM carriers, light artillery. Um, They can add their support with their speed. They're very, very effective for what they do. So that would be... um, if you asked me what the best answer would be, would be to look at attack craft and hovercraft. Outside of that with mechs, look at something that can engage. But again, trying to keep that battle value down, I would probably go with the Jenner. Because the Jenner can not only hunt down light mechs, it can also pull the duality of engaging other targets, working with mediums and heavies to get rear armor, um, outflanking a lot of potency in the Jenner. So I'm going to turn it over to you guys, my fellow Battletech enthusiasts and mech warriors, hunting down light mechs, hunting down light mechs. What's that checklist? What's that consideration? And what's the tactica for doing that effectively? Again, looking at this idea of battle value equal or less to help make it effective. 